Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, uh, Battlefield 3, uh, I named this one A-Hole because me and my buddy Swift uh, tried to get on, and he joined in my match, and then uh, we joined squads, and the tactic we were trying to run, because there was a lot of helicopters, was that I would run support class, I throw out ammo to him, I sit in the tank in the CITV, and I would designate uh, targets for him. And then that way he would uh, shoot him down. So, you know, we were we were doing this for a little while. And um, some dude, Ham Jam, uh, gets inside of the tank and drives it off uh, like a knucklehead. Now, you know, the first time, eh, no big deal. You know, he gets in the tank, he drives it off because he don't know. But he did it three times. So, you know, one of the things here on Firestorm is you're exposed to a lot of aircraft. Now, if you get in the tanks like me, then, you know, you, you like to sit kind of in a spot because, you know, if you run up and try to secure positions, if it's just you by yourself, you're going to get hammered. You're going to get hammered by the aircraft, whether it's the, uh, you know, the helicopters, whether it's the fixed wing. So here we are um, sitting near our spawn point. And you can see my buddy Swifty right there to the left. I'm designating targets, trying to designate them. Uh, and this guy running up on the Jeep, get a nice little uh, designation on him. Uh, Swifty takes him out. So, you know, and this was our tactic. We weren't trying to go and secure every single position. We thought that if we sat there and tried to run air cover, that maybe would help the rest of our team. So, you know, you got enemy aircraft coming through. I'm trying to designate them as fast as possible, but there's only two of us. So you can see kind of there on the right that there's two empty slots still left in the tank so you know I'm, I'm sitting in the CITV and I've thrown out an ammo pack so that way my buddy Swifty can pick up another uh, javelin here comes the, uh, the Jeep he this guy loaded up with C4 tried to detonate and uh, kill my buddy Swifty and it didn't work um, so I'm just sitting here and I'm designating and you know we're, we're pretty cool with this but by this time Everybody and their brother is getting pissed at us. We've got aircraft trying to drop on top of us, uh, whether it's helicopter, whether it's airplane, all of them just trying to land right on top of us. So you can see that there's an aircraft there. So I'm trying to back the tank up. Uh, he's running the assistant gunner for me. We're going to back it up and then uh, get to a position where I can designate the helicopter. So um, he jumps out. I switch over to the CITV station. Uh, you know, it was kind of a boring match, but the two of us were content with the fact that this is what we were going to do. You know, some guys, they're good at getting in and out of the buildings, uh, taking everything out. Um, some guys are good at, you know, flying the helicopters, flying the, the aircraft. Uh, we were good at doing this and we were drawing all the aircraft because you know Everybody was trying to take us out and this helicopter was a little hard uh, every time this uh, attack helicopter came by okay, he had the IR uh, flares on um, so as We moved around the map. I noticed that there were some snipers and you know to me This is the best way to defeat a sniper is to get in a tank and take away the advantage of him popping you and looking through the scope. So I popped one there, um, you know, and then another one started crawling up the tower. Now, when, when I snipe on this map, this is what I like to do. I get up there and I run the SOFLAM, and um, that way if anybody's running an engineer class with uh, Javelin, that they have that edge that they can lock onto aircraft, um, that's been one of the downfalls, I think, with BF3 over Modern Warfare 3 was that in Modern Warfare 3, you could lock onto aircraft with a javelin. You didn't need a la laser designator. You kind of had one built in. That was the best way to get rid of the C-130. So that's the best way, I think, to hit a sniper. Get in the tank, take away his advantage. So, you know, we're trying to move around the map. There's that little fire base right there to the left. We are trying to move back towards the spawn point. This tank comes out of nowhere. My buddy Swifty jumps out, drops a javelin on him. Um, so we moved. And basically, we we stayed near the spawn point. We moved over by the fire base. And then we moved on the other side of the fire base to stay out of the main uh, choke points that everybody was getting killed at, trying to 
you know, designate targets. And you can see I designated him. There's a javelin. You can see that the guy um, ejected out, but he's behind enemy line. So, you know, pretty much it's a mute point. Here comes another aircraft. Crashes right down, you know. So, this is the first time um, that um, the old A-hole, Ham Jam 117, uh, jumps into the tank. And he's the driver. He starts pulling up. I'm like, where where are you going, dude? Really? So he stops. And he backs the the, uh, the tank up. And I'm like, okay. Maybe he understands that he's taking, you know, the tank I was in. Maybe I had a purpose. Turns the gun barrel around. Hey, dude, get in the tank. So I get in. He jumps out. And uh, I think he gets up in the third position, which he starts to designate tanks. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. He's designating tanks. I'll, I'll run my uh, heavy machine gun. We got a helicopter trying to take us out because, like I said, we were making them totally crazy. Two guys jump out. My buddy switched it right there on the rocks. So, you know, we're trying to hold our own, and I see Ham Jam jump out. So, no big deal. All right. So, we're cool. I'm, I'm in the driver's seat. I'm going to move up a little bit, see if I can not run a little cover fire because, you know, Swifty got pegged. So, I'm trying to stay close to this area cause so that he can spawn on me. Ham Jam's in the uh, second spot. No big deal. So, you know, um, you get a lot of snipers get up here on the refinement areas. And uh, so, you know, with a tank, you know, you, you do what you can to try to uh, root them out from a little ammo pack, get back in the tank. Um, so I'm going to switch over to CITV and I'm going to try to designate aircraft. And he drives off with the tank. And it's like, uh, really, dude? We just went through this. All right. So. Swifty runs back, gets another tank, drives it up. I jump in. I throw out an ammo pack. Sitting there trying to run the CITV so I can designate uh, aircraft. Because, you know, they were they were dominating the airspace. And Ham Jam spawns in on us and takes our vehicle. And you can see we're doing pretty decent. Our team's not winning, but we're trying to do our part. So we moved over by the firebase. We didn't know that Ham Jam was in our squad, spawned in on us, and takes the tank again. And it's like, really, dude? And he wasn't doing that great with it. He'd take the tank, run up there, and die. So thanks for nothing there, Ham Jam. So I crawled up on the mountain. I was trying to see what I could do with the 240 Bravo uh, 4X scope to uh, deploy out the bipods. You know, if I can spot somebody, if I can lay suppressive fire, you know, anything. Anyways, the match end, uh, Ham Jam, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Jerkalese. Uh, took the tank a couple of times. Thank you, Swifty, for hanging out with me uh, anytime. Um, and once again, this is Candace Bob. Thanks a lot.